Welcome to Look Movie Recaps. Today I'm explaining an action and thriller movie from 2019 titled Cold Pursuit, Watch Out and Take Care. A snowplow driver Nell Coxman and his wife Grace live a peaceful life, they frequently receive visits from their son Carl Coxman, who works at the airport. Coxman receives the community's honor for Citizen of the Year, but the evening turns out not very enjoyable, when both his son Carl and his friend Dante are both kidnapped from the airport. While they are traveling, the captors give Curl a heroin overdose, which causes him to pass away. Dante is able to escape from the moving van. In Denver, a drug cartel boss named Viking wants his son Ryan to use violence at school to get back at the bullies, but Ryan declines because of his calm personality. When Coxman and Grace are notified of Carl's passing and asked to identify the body, the doctors claims that a drug overdose was cause of his death, but Coxman does not believe him because Carl was never a drug user. Grace is horrified to see her son in this condition, and she confronts Coxman about his lack of emotion. Devastated by the death of his son, Coxman attempts suicide with a shotgun but is stopped by Dante, who has been hiding at the workshop since the incident. Although shocked by what happened to Carl, Dante narrates the entire incident to him, revealing that Carl's death was not due to an overdose. Enraged on hearing this, Coxman forces him to reveal the names and location of the kidnappers, he finds information about a guy named Speedo. He arrives at a local club and confronts Speedo about his son's death, but he denies knowing anything instead he begins threatening him while asking him to leave. Coxman knocks him down when he wakes up. He again tortures him to which he reveals he worked on the orders of a guy named Limbo, after confirming Limbo's identity, Coxman kills him and discards his body in the river. While going to drop Ryan to school, Viking is told about Speedo's disappearance, as he used to work for him. He is so furious and agitated. Ryan thinks he must have done something to him but Viking assures him that he was not involved. Coxman finds himself at Limbo's workplace, he tortures him to learn more about his leaders, he mentions Santa as his boss, then Coxman shoots him and disposes his body in the same river as he did before. When he returns home, Grace asks him about Carl's hobbies but she gets upset to know that he never bonded with his son. Back in Denver, Viking's ex-wife approaches him and informs him about filing a custody report for Ryan. He gets angry with her and offers money in exchange, but she refuses to take it. Before he can convince her further. Viking is told about Limbo's disappearance, he starts investigating his staff and scolds them. While Ryan observes him, Coxman continues his killing spree, he shoots another gangster named Santa, who was also involved in his son's kidnapping. Upon returning home, he finds that Grace has left the house after being upset by his lack of grief over their deceased son, unaware that Coxman was taking matters into his own hands and secretly retributing his son's death by killing everyone involved. After being left alone, he visits his brother Brock Coxman, an ex-gangster and explains the entire situation to him. Brock tells him they mistook Carl for Dante, who tried to steal gold from the drug lord called Viking, as Brock used to work with Viking, he informs him that it is impossible to reach him. Coxman reveals to him that he wants to avenge Carl's death, but Brock does not believe he can kill anyone as he was never involved in such violent activities. As they continue discussing the situation. On the other hand, when Viking is told about Santa, he gets suspicious considering that a third member of his gang went missing within a week. He starts thinking his rival White Bull is behind all the mess, he tells his team, that he used to work with White Bulls, but later signed a contract not to interfere in each other's territories, he thinks they are violating the contract and plans to teach them a lesson. Upon his orders his men kidnap a guy from the opposite gang and torture him to get the information, as he does not disclose anything. The Viking gets angry about it and shoots him without knowing that he is the only son of his rival White Bull. Police detectives Kim Dash and her partner also receive information about the murder and think it's the beginning of a turf war between two gangs that can destroy the peace of the town, although Kim's partner seems hesitant to begin the investigation. Kim urges him that they should do something to eliminate the upcoming threat. We shift the scenes back to Brock's house, he tells Coxman that Viking's real name is Trevor Calcody, and if he wants to kill him, he needs to hire a professional assassin, he tells him about a guy named Eskimo and advises him to pay him up front, and he will do it for him upon his suggestion. Coxman contacts Eskimo and invites him to town. While showing him the room in a local hotel, he offers him half of the agreed amount, but the Eskimo thinks of him as a police officer and starts arguing with him, but he satisfies him by proving his identity. The Eskimo gets the agreed money from him. But he betrays him and he also goes to Viking demanding the same amount, to sell him information that someone is trying to get him killed. Viking transfers the required money into his account, and he reveals Coxman wants him dead. Viking thinks it's Brock Coxman as he used to work with his father so he might have some old disputes. As soon as he gets the information from the Eskimo, the Viking scolds him for not honoring his deal with Coxman and shoots him for his unethical behavior. And his men dispose his body. 
Nell Coxman tries to seek further information about Viking. He looks him up on the internet. On the other hand, Viking arrives at Brock's house and offers him a ride. On their way, he asks about the reason behind killing his men and threatens to kill him but he is already dying of cancer. He decides to save his brother and takes the blame, saying he wanted to take revenge on him because his father stole his woman. After listening to him and considering him a threat, Viking murders him as well. While the rival gang leader White Bull grieves his son's death, he tells his gang about the old deal with the Viking's father, but reveals it's over, as they have repaid it with his son's murder, he plans to take revenge on him. He announces to take a son for a son. After finding out that the Eskimo did not kill him, Coxman spies on Viking's house, where he spots him with his son and finds out about his prep school. After killing Brock and finding out that the White Bull had nothing to do with his gang members murdering, Vikings decides to reinforce his contract with White Bull. He shoots his own man Dexter. White Bull has already ordered his men to go kidnap Ryan from his school, but asks them to wait as he receives a message from Viking. The messenger presents Dexter's head and tells him he was the one who killed his son, and they have punished him because they want to keep their end of the deal. White Bull thanks him for the gift, and shoots him while insisting that he only wants Viking's son. In the meantime, Kim receives information about Carl's death which was due to an overdose, and that he used to work with Dante at the Kyoto airport. She visits Coxman and shares her concern. She does not think Carl was killed by the overdose, she asks for his help to find out the truth, but he refuses and says she cannot do anything, because his son is already gone. Later, Coxman arrives at Ryan's school. Ryan has never seen him before, but he claims that his father sent him to pick him up. At first, he is hesitant to follow him, but Coxman persuades him, and he accepts. Men from White Bull chase him after spotting him outside the school. But he manages to bring Ryan safe at his home. Viking receives the information about his son's disappearance, before he can do anything to find him. His wife shows up again and starts arguing with him for taking Ryan without his permission. He tells her about Ryan's abduction but assures her that someone will call in with his demands for ransom. And he will get him free. On the other hand, White Bull's men receive a text message on Dexter's phone from one of his gang members informing him that they will be staying at a hotel soon. They find him and murder him too. White Bull and his team arrive at a ski resort in Kyo to keep an eye on Viking and his gang, while Coxman arrives at his house with Ryan, he offers to prepare lunch for him. Ryan asks about his family, but he tells him he does not have one. He treats him well, and offers him to sleep in Carl's room. After accepting that he had a son, but he does not live with him anymore, he even reads him a story and offers to give him a ride on his snowplow and apparently Ryan has Stockholm Syndrome. While waiting for their next mission, the gang members enjoy their time at the resort, but White Bull misses his son and reassures himself to take revenge back in Denver. Viking men bring in a school janitor who reveals Coxman took Ryan. Viking realizes he misunderstood the names and it wasn't Brock, but someone else is trying to mess with him. Coxman calls Viking and asks him to come over alone and get his son back. Viking assures him that him and his team are already on their way. They raid his house but cannot find anyone, as Coxman took Ryan out for a ride on his snowplow. They come across a police car. And Coxman introduces Ryan as his nephew. While talking to him, the officers tell him that they saw many cars at his house. Coxman realizes that Viking has arrived. While searching his house, they find Coxman's company picture and decide to go there to find Ryan. As Viking and his men head out, one of his men leaked the information and tells White Bull about where they are heading. Coxman aims at their cars and tries to shoot Viking, but is interrupted by Ryan, he quickly takes him back inside and asks him to stay there until he comes back to pick him up. He goes back to his spot to try aim at Viking again, but does not get a chance and he is caught by his men. They take him to Viking, he starts questioning him about Ryan, but before Coxman can tell him anything. White Bull and the gang arrive and begin shooting. A fight emerges between the rival groups. This kills almost everyone in both sides. Viking tries to escape, but Coxman drops a trank of a tree that traps him in his car. White Bull shoots him as he leaves the scene. White Bull gets in Coxman's truck and they live. The police arrive at the scene and find Viking taking his last breath. While Coxman drives away in the snowplow. White Bull gets satisfied by Coxman after realizing he is not a threat to him. He puts his gun down. And they drive away. 
the last remaining gang member on a parachute accidentally comes in front of them and gets killed by the plow. The film ends. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos and turn on notifications. Have a great day.